because they realize they don't have to learn all this crazy tech skill. They don't need to be able to you know, clutch up up air or you know, fastball up air. They can just make good decisions. You know, and If you just make good decisions, you can win the game. You, you don't have to be fun. This is a game <laughs> of the mind, not a game of the hands. All right, so we have uh, the classic double Pika on one side, but on the other side we have an interesting team that uh, two of us here from Baltimore have yeah. uh, talked about a lot. I'm really excited to see this. Because uh, Yoshi Luigi is a scary team. I, I think, think I really think this is a very under... So we, we almost have seen a lot of players going like Luigi, like a lot of top players and even like SPK, ZPK. They opt into like Samus, who's really good, uh, Mario. But I think there's this... Uh, there's a lot to explore with Luigi, considering how quick he can take stocks. Falcon and Yoshi, especially. And like, yeah, everyone's like, "Oh, Kirby, Kirby, Luigi," which is a, a fun team, but so many characters set up uh, vertically, uh, perfectly for Luigi. Yeah. So yeah, Kirby. I mean, uh, Yoshi and Falcon are kind of given up in doubles. People just assume it's just their characters that can't work because either losing armor too early or getting edge guarded too early. But they also are characters that take stocks really, and they're characters that set up great. Uh, right. I think this is a very unexplored team that could have really good success if a lot of top players focus on it. You basically see that up tilt. So Yoshi, Yoshi's up tilt being fixed knockback and never really knocks back people too, people too far away means that at every single percentage on every single character, Yoshi's up tilt can guarantee a Luigi up B. Right. Uh, granted, a stage like this where it's spread out and you don't have like a, a camping uh, central plat Luigi makes it a little bit harder to set up that combo because everyone's kind of like on a level plane. Where somewhere like Dreamland, you can just have the Yoshi kind of pull into the middle with the Luigi up top and just pop him up, up, up B. You can have a three hit kill on most, most characters. Yeah. And as you're seeing, like the neutral is tough for both these characters against uh, Pika, but these are two of the best characters at scoring low percent kills on uh, light characters. Yeah, so even if they don't necessarily need to win the neutral enough, they just need right. to win the neutral once. Yeah. Oh, oh and he saved the but. I was. I don't think he was prepared for that. He's just kind of playing the space, assuming yeah. you know what. Maybe his teammate gets hit. You, you can't always see the future, so. Yeah, I don't know how, if these guys team ever, but um, Como. You see I like this like stage control. Back down B, just down B. Uh, down B would have got him. Como is very up smash heavy, and it's kind of working out for him. Como did a great job there, just kind of controlling both peaks off the stage, using the eggs, waiting for them to land, forward smashing when they came down because it's very hard to get that side plat. It's a little bit further than Dreamland. Yeah. Mustache. Nice, nice setup, nice setup. That's what we're talking about. Spawns, up tilt boards them right at the spawn platform. Oh. And just gets the FB. I love that. That's what, what we like to see. What I'm seeing right now, though, is Mustache and Smirka look like they have uh, better synergy, better teamwork. Um, they are passing to each other better. Um, whereas it looks like FJ, 20, and Como are fighting more individually. But they're getting kills off it, so it's kind of working out. Um, still close. But no, I think Como. Oh, oh, and he gets stuck I under. What? It's so important. That's why some stages. This is what makes some character combinations a little bit challenging. Right. Depending on how someone recovers, depending on what their their offstage strategies are. Stages like Pokemon Stadium can really screw you up if you get underneath yeah. it. But it also affords some different neutral approaches. Let's right. say you're a fox, right? You can just laser wall, and it's hard for them to get over you. Right. Uh, so I, there's I think very interesting how these stages play out. And yesterday, as well as we saw Isaiah adapt to Remix for only playing it one day, we saw him SD a lot recovering on these different stages. So you can kind of see how it can be tricky to adapt, not to the, the stage structure on top, but the stage structure on the sides. Yeah. It's we, very we, different. Very interesting mechanic to think about, especially how we have ledge DI, uh, how some characters, they, they have they can commit to, uh, or they can commit to the recovery after the opponent commits to the edge guard. And so some stages, you can kind of ride the wall, which allows you kind of uh, some more safety in right. how, how precise you need to be with your recovery. But then some stages like that, it's a very delicate stage with this lip underneath that you can lose your jump on or you can lose your up on. Do you think these guys, uh, the Team Blue, do you think they're benefiting from uh, playing on non-Dreamland stages or do you think they would be having more success well, so on Dreamland? At, at some point on that Pokemon Stadium, uh, Como was doing a really good job just keeping the Pikas off stage. I think that was benefited from not being Dreamland because they couldn't go to top plat, they yeah. couldn't get to the side plat as easy, and fake out from the ledge. So they just had FJ20 controlling the ledge while Como just controlled everything else. It's like a less extreme version of uh, Final Destination in that aspect. Yeah, yeah. And so I, I think their counter pick here, if I have to guess, they just saw Como lose his stock from getting stuck under the lip of the stage, getting yeah. pineapple basically. And so they pick a stage where there is no pineapple. It's right. it's impossible to get stuck on it. Great trade for Como. I really like that there. You know you're out. There's another Pika on oh, the stage. They're going to stop chase. you even if you get back. Take uh, the forward air. Yeah, there's a great chase on the side pipe, but they still haven't finished off that Pika. Oh, uh, yeah, you can't just drop an air onto the uphill. 
Uh, great kind of parry there. It's surprising. It didn't lead so much, but that might be a stock for Como. I don't think he has his jump yet. Yeah, Red Team has been much better with their teamwork and their punishes. Great down B for <laughs> FJ20 there. He went really high. It was great match. He got up with a strong hit at the end. I thought that up B was going to kill Como, but I don't know if he was still invincible or what. Or maybe just too low. And so that. another thing to think about is blast ones are different on these stages. Some things kill a little bit earlier, some things kill a little bit later, depending on you know what you're used to. Uh, sometimes it's better to, instead of going for what you think is a strong hit, go for something that puts them off stage. If you're not comfortable with the blast ones, maybe you're getting an early kill. If it's more narrow than Dream Oh, it was good work from Como to get a little punish off his recovery. Um, they're, they're still not getting kills. Yeah, they're, they're not getting setups that they should be. Uh, oh, good ledge cancel. FJ20 still But nice. Them, it seems like the ceiling's pretty low on this stage. Yeah. Getting some early kills. We saw the down B that killed from the from the oh, ledge. Back there must have been stale there. I'm surprised it didn't uh, break the armor. Oh, yeah, he's just a little too far away. FJ20 was trying to clear that peak off the ledge, wasn't able to do it. That was, you know, able to help Yoshi, but Yoshi didn't need it. Up tilt him, see? That's where you just got to pop up an up tilt, and then Luigi gets an up air, up B, and it's a dead Pikachu. Yeah, he's, he went for, he's going for up Bs when he's not in range. Uh, almost trying to go for a shield break. He stopped it early knowing yeah. that this guy was coming, but he there wasn't anything he could really do about it. Good way to get back by FJ20. I'm not sure which Pikas are which. I, obviously, uh, Schmerkerberl and Mustache are a Pika, but uh, I think Mustache is the uh, dark one. and Mustache. Oh, uh, Mustache is yeah, the dark one, and Schmerkerberl is the light. We have the... Oh, oh! Catches one. I think Yoshi gets the kill. Other. I think Yoshi gets that kill there. That's how the, the trade works, right? Yeah, because it, it, oh, the way the game... Oh, you can't let him survive. And up air. Yeah. And, and look at this! Stage, it's stage over, change, yeah. no character change, and we're going to see a whole new set. I mean, it isn't over. Yeah. These, these percentages... It's not the lead that it looks like. Yeah, you get a you get a Luigi one dies, and then if you can get the back on the Yoshi, yeah. maybe the Yoshi dies, and then we got a one on one. And it's Luigi Pika. Not everyone knows how to make that work. Good for Como to get back, keep it alive, and he gets the up tilt. Is this could be it? Oh, we ah. missed it. Uh, oh, FJ, it's hard to turn around. The turn around to get the up air, very very hard. So he goes to the back air. Marcus doing a great job of hanging in this. He uh, is very good job. Yeah. And oh yeah, just you can't jump. You can't jump in a Luigi yeah. up smash like you, that. But you when, don't think that's happening. When, well, when you're that high percentage and you're playing against Luigi Yoshi, you know exactly one thing to look out for from both characters. Yeah, yeah, you yeah. know they're <laughs> looking for that up smash. Uh, you can actually bait those uh, characters into doing up smashes. You just kind of play around them yeah. when you're at so high percent. What I think might have been interesting about that stage, considering the, the side plats were not as like close to the, c the center plat that was uh, like you'd have on Dreamland, right. it might be hard for both those characters to challenge him if he had camped the top plat. Mm. The Ouija, while having a very big single jump, uh, doesn't have a way to kind of like put any other pressure. He'd have to either fully commit to that, which you can always avoid in his double jump. You could try to punish and, right. and dodge. And then Yoshi has a very hard time getting up there as well because it's going to require a double jump to reach that top plat. If they come from the side plat, they're so far away horizontally yeah. that you can just move away from that and, and I, yeah, I didn't think they benefited. Shut off their their. I didn't think changes. they benefited much from having those plats stick out like that. Although it might have given them more uh, easier stage control in the center. Uh, but I think uh, one reason I think they picked the counter pick was they couldn't get that Como pineapple. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> you know, misfortune. They they yeah, have a I total mean, but, straight up wall. But you can go to Kalos for that too. Yeah, yeah, there's a handle. I think they, the platforms Wario allow the platforms allow for uh, up tilt to set up with the Luigi. We did see a couple. They weren't totally controlled. So FG20 kind of just picked up a couple hits, um, but it gives it gives better combos for Luigi. It sets up for, I think, more team team combos. And they decided they wanted to go OG to end this. One. I think I think uh, so. WarioWare, it's a really small stage. Uh, but I think it's a it's probably the best stage for Yoshi. Yoshi's up tilt reaches through the platforms. Right. So it's basically impossible to approach Yoshi. If you're coming in horizontally, Yoshi can either just dodge it, bait it, parry it, armor it. But through the platform, it's impossible <laughs> to go through because Yoshi could just up tilt through. Yeah. While they did win on their counter pick, now they're going to have to win on on, on Right, Dreamland. I was going to say... Uh, uh, there's always a, something to think about. Anybody playing Remix, thinking about how they're going to play their Remix doubles or... Uh, in the future for the next tournament. Gotta win that first Con game. Consider, consider WarioWare for Yoshi. I think the, the up tilt of the platform makes it a very, very interesting choice. Yeah. It's, how I, it's how I beat Bad Rush. You <laughs> 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 Yeah, and losing that first game was uh, crucial um, because now much faster and Shmerka got to pick Dreamland for game three. I tried breaking Pikachu or Yoshi out of that grab from Pikachu. Wasn't able to do it, but Momo clears the ledge for him. FG20 gets back up. Oh, the up smash doesn't come out in time. It's not going to kill. 
they're both high percentage. But it's, it was safe for them to add the damage on, because yeah. uh, FT20 can't get there in time. Right. And they're not going to get punished from the Yoshi taking the hit. Takes the sock. Yeah, this is... Uh, this, ooh, all right, good. They turn it around just like this, and now they've got this Pico off stage. They can nope. punish this edge guard. Oh, I think he just grabbed the ledge. Oh, and he wait, missed it. And he, here we go. We're right back in. It stocks in the same percent being different does... Yeah, does put blue team out of deficit. But, but we've seen Luigi and what he can do with a high percentage. He can survive for a while. And Como got that down here, racked up a ton of damage on, on second player. Now we're looking at. Ooh, I don't like that. Oh, I don't like that FD20. What okay. are you doing? It's what, high percent. You got all Yeah, but uh, I think the down smash was a mistake in the first place. Uh, and then, you know, obviously the up it was not something he was planning on doing. Yeah. Um, I would have. I assume the down, the down smash was intentional. That Ooh, obviously excellent. killing yourself on up he wasn't. And two stocks. But here right we there. are. We're right back in it. They yeah. actually have the lead now in stocks. Uh, Yoshi at a high percent isn't like a lot of other characters. It's not as dangerous uh, unless you lose your armor. Yeah. But good. Yoshi being able to just absorb hits and keep coming back, they could just tank to the hundreds. Uh, I think they'd rather have FJ20 be high percent because the, one of the Pikas is always going to go and try and edge guard FJ20 if he's off stage, and that allows Como to single. Como off. get they're both in positions to keep their own combos going. Como drops that yeah, one. Yeah, they're, they're uh, doing well with the one v ones when FJ20. Sixty-nine percent uh, on the Smirker, bro. Oh, this oh, smash! Is, oh, oh, he got stuck. In, yeah, I missed it. Uh, has to be has to be an input mistake by uh, Como. He pretty much knows. Exactly what he wants to do is Yoshi, and he. But this isn't as close as it seems. You know, uh, they can clear off both characters on Red Team very quickly with uh, like short combos. They're both high percentage. Uh, not able to get there in time. I think Como should have. Uh, Good way for get out by Como. It was great to get out that back. That would have been bad news if he got yep. stuck. And that back here no, takes killing. out the Pika. They get a quick now they have to just. He's got to save his teammate. Punish the. Yeah. It's, you gotta get in there because you know he's when he's forward there. You gotta get in there and punish because Pika has lag on all his moves. Especially he's not oh, he has smashed his teammate. Oh, but he's still alive. Now, yeah, high percentage. Como's got to get in there. I actually like that they took it because this yeah. this sets up a, a nice two v one here. Yeah, and and would you want would you want oh would wow. you want Luigi Good have to save. one on one Pika or the Yoshi to yeah. one on one Pika if you have to? You well, have to pick. You want that Yoshi. It's one not on just Pika. that, but they needed the invincibility in the two v two instead of a two v one. They had an invincible character in a 2v2, and that really, I think, this might was have a good, them. good ending this set. We don't know how oh. it's going to go out, but we like it here. Last stock. Down B. Competitive Look, game Como. three. Oh, he gave no! up too early! He gave up armor! Too early. How and unfortunate, yeah. Uh, but very well played from uh, from both these so teams. So it's just a, I think it's a missed time in there. You know, yeah. your Pika's stuck in that fair, and you want to get him right when you're out of it, so you try to time your nair right when it finishes. I don't think it's worth the risk there. 